Hey guys, okay, so I want to do a really quick video. It's gonna be like my sunglasses collection I don't know if I'm gonna put this in as part of a vlog or if I'll like edit it out into like a separate video Because um, I feel like as a separate video it'd be easier to find but Anyway, so we're gonna go through my sunglasses because I get a lot of questions like all the time in every video Not in every video in all my vlog videos about my sunglasses. So I'm gonna start out I don't know where I want to start out with um, and this is kind of like a video that will kind of help me clear out some of my glasses too. I already have kind of a pile that I want to put on the blog sale. Um, the only issue with that is like I feel like on top of taking a picture of the glasses, I want to take a picture of me wearing them because that is the only way I am willing to buy sunglasses is if I see them on a face. Um, and even then, it's, sometimes it's not even my face shape, so that makes it difficult. But let's try this out. The first handful of pairs I'm going to share with you are ones that I picked up when I was living in Dubai and then they all came from a store called Shoe Express and they were always like between like 10 and 12 bucks or something like that and they were always like an ombre lens which is why I like them so much so this is the first pair these are actually really cute I was going to block sell these maybe I'll keep these I actually have like two or three pairs of these so I really I mean in general I feel like a gradient lens especially one that fades to nothing looks so chic and it doesn't matter how much they are like they will always look really good this is another pair also from that same store again with like the ombre effect like how beautiful like and they have like this kind of black detailing on the side they're just they're kind of like retro chic love right and a lot of these, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably see a lot of my sunglasses there too because I tend to take, you know, car selfies with that excellent lighting. And this is another pair. The shape is amazing. The only thing I don't like is like this side piece here. It has, it's like bamboo, like metal or whatever. So that looks a little tacky. But other than that, it's like really cute. And I dyed my hair a couple days ago. So if you see some red scalp, that's why. But yeah, so this is like my general vibe when I wear sunglasses. To, okay, so this pair is from Aldo, I think a couple summers ago. Where did I pick these up? But they, they have like a fun, you know, again, like that retro vibe. They're a little oversized. They have a bit of like this extra gold trim rim situation, but still really cute, lightweight, very comfortable. Aldo has a lot of great accessories. I just feel like at their original price, they're overpriced for what they are. Uh, these are Vince Camuto. I feel like maybe I'll get rid of these. They're my attempt at wearing like a rounder shape or something that is close to like an aviator. I just don't think they look, the shape is flattering to my face shape. Or maybe I haven't found the right pair, but these are really dark. Even though they kind of gradient down, they're really, really dark up here. So if you are someone that likes glasses that are, that are really like light canceling, this pair is like really great for that. Um, I'm going to obviously try and link as many as I can below. These are a pair of Michael Kors. These are so lightweight, but I feel like they're just slightly too small for my face, so I might get rid of them. Or are they not? Oh my god, okay, well, on you know what's weird is on camera, all these look like 10 times cuter than they usually look on me, but I still think this area might be a little too close together for me. I need a little bit more space, so these might go in like the blog sale at some point. These are, what are these? These are ABS. These are also really, oh, these have create like a really beautiful look like from like looking out like everything looks like sunlit uh but again gradient lens i like these should i get rid of them i don't know the next couple you saw in a vlog i have picked them up at like a grocery but these are so fun i'm keeping these because i don't have anything like these i think as far as a round glass goes these are like really kind of classic looking they're really fun right do we like them they're a little oversized but i feel like if i had like really big hair one day like they really suit a look or if i like were to put my hair up in like a high bun or something you know that is so unattractive i look even older now <laughs> anyway you know what i'm trying to say there these also were from that same little vlog i might keep these the vibe here is a little different with like the straight the top or do we not like that? I feel like sometimes if you are, if your brows are gray, a lot of glasses will look better. That's just what I've noticed. Um, okay, so there's those. These next ones are Kate Spade. And they're really, wi not wild, but they're, they're festive. And I always, like whenever I wear them, I end up like just switching them out for like a different pair. Because there's just something... I don't know if like my face is too long for them where they look like they're too you know what i mean they're such a fun glass they're mirrored 
they have this like rhinestone effect up here like they're super fun and i feel like this with a bright lip looks amazing next ones are from lispec and i really like them these i've worn in an instagram post for sure they're mirrored they're amazing looking uh they're like kind of like a more expensive version of like the key version from australia i can't decide if i want to keep these or not because i like glasses that are lightweight because if most glasses obviously that i buy in this country are not made for like pacific noses or like asian noses so they tend to weigh heavy down because there's the assumption that you have a bit of a bridge here and if you don't it depends solely on like this area of your nose to keep your glasses up which is very difficult if you know what i'm saying so i'm debating you guys let me know like definitely leave your feedback i'm like very curious this is the same pair as these but these for some reason are much more lightweight um but they're like a tortoise shell version i like these a lot these i think i'll keep Ugh, i really want to keep these too but these are just they they, they get, get too heavy on me these i can wear comfortably all day those are really cute i love them okay so maybe right after these i'll show you the ones from key and let me know what you guys think which one is cuter these are the ones from key the shape is obviously a little more trendy you have like the gold up here i don't know i feel like when i'm editing this video i'm gonna find out so many things that i like and don't like because when you see them on camera you can see yourself as like a, almost like a third third person kind of thing so those are the key i feel like we're shopping for sunglasses together and these are, ooh, these look more expensive, don't they? Well, they are more expensive. I like Lespec. Lespec, they are like about 80 bucks around that range, I think, which is really like a comfortable place if you like buying kind of like more luxury, high-end feeling glasses. Okay, yeah, maybe we're keeping these and we'll block sell these. This pair, everyone has. I almost feel like I'm just going to get rid of them because I'm so sick of seeing them on like Instagram posts and it's like me it's like what two years ago it's like so two years ago maybe I'll get rid of these also I feel like this shape on me is not as flattering as like something that goes up more this goes kind of it's cat eye but it goes like straight across in a way yeah I think we'll get rid of these these pair I say these because I have like a couple of them so this these are Mew Mews and you guys whenever I wear these you guys love them they're they're probably my favorite sunglasses I wear them all the time in my vlogs they're just <laughs> rimless gradient cat eye like that is everything that i love in a sunglass so this is like the black pair and this is the kind of burgundy red pair these were i, I feel like they came out a couple two three years ago i picked mine up at nordstrom rack for 80 bucks a piece it was like the best deal ever and i think i on ebay i saw a pair that goes from like navy like a bright bright navy into like nothing and I haven't seen them anywhere else. I don't know if they're like legit or not, but they're beautiful. They're also over like 200 bucks, I think. So I don't know if I would be willing to fork over that much money for these. But ugh. but this pair, the black pair, I have bought a backup of, backup of off of Attica Net. Um, I'll link the site below. I think it's a really great site to buy from. I've never had any issues with them. I know that whenever I mention them, you guys are like, what do you think of the site? Because they've had a lot of mixed feedback. I've never had an issue. I buy from them. I always pay with PayPal. I receive my glasses within within a week, within like even half a week. And within a couple of days, I get a duty bill from FedEx. I pay it. I scan that page with the request for payment and I send it to Attica Net via their website and they refund me the the tax. So it is tax free. Some people, I don't know, you guys are annoying. Not you guys, but I mean like the people who are like, well, I don't want to like pay FedEx and then have it refunded. Well, I don't know what to say. As my father would say, tough shit because the glasses are already so inexpensive. There's often a promotion along with them. They're cheaper than most places on the internet. There's a promotion and all you have to do is a little like work afterwards. It's very minimal. So I, I haven't had any issues with the site, but um, for those of you who have shot from them, let me know what your experience has been. These are Tom Ford Colette's and I am very unsure. Like I like them, but do I love them? I can't decide. I might get rid of them because there might be other glasses that I could get instead. I don't know. They're so comfortable though. 
that's a big thing with me is because you know the, the the non-existent nose bridge you need to find really lightweight comfortable glasses so and these are it overall tom ford does what i think very flattering eye glasses for like my face shape uh so and these are one of my favorite pairs they're the anushkas i had originally seen these on the real housewives of beverly hills on um what's that really oh my god my phone has been crazy on the what's her 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 instagram is the pretty mess erica jane oh my god i love that girl she is like one of my favorite housewives i, I don't think she, i think it was only on for a season but i saw these on her i'd seen these glasses before on other people and i thought they were nice when i saw them on her she made me really want to get them she had her hair up in like a really high ponytail like one of those like genie ponytails and she just looked amazing so i was like i, I want those glasses so i tracked them down these i think i got these off of attica net too so yeah they ship from Italy. So most designer sunglasses are made in Italy. So I would assume that's why they're cheaper coming from there because they can just keep some stock and sell them on the internet to everyone else. But these I love. Okay, these you guys saw. I picked these up right before I picked up the Marc Jacob ones I'm going to show you next. But these are by Jimmy Choo. And they kind of have like this bougie but fabulous vibe to them but i'm not like super obsessed i just feel like for my face shape things that go straight across are not it as you have seen that i've explained to you and like showing you a lot of the glasses i don't know if like things that go straight across look that great on me uh i i don't know maybe you guys who know a lot about like design and proportion of things can explain to me like logically why it doesn't look good on me but i just when i look at them like eh, something's off so these might also be block sailed yeah they, i think they might have to be that's the thing with sunglasses like and clothing just like a lot of things some things look great on other people and some things look horrible like i know sometimes when i go shopping with people and we have like completely different body shapes like i wear something it's, it looks like the ugliest thing ever and then they put it on and i'm like whoa amazing okay so these are the mark jacobs I mentioned getting another pair where they go from like brown to magenta or something. I'm kind of, I love these. They're, oh, they're so good. And again, super lightweight, super comfortable. They're just so nice. So that is pretty much the sunglasses collection. I hope I didn't miss anything. I will, again, try to link every single thing below. If you have any questions, ask away. If you have any suggestions for glasses you think I might like, or sites that you guys purchase from, also leave that below too. So I also like Solstice sunglasses. If you sign up for their emails, they do decent promotions. Um, that's where I picked up the Marc Jacobs ones, but they were doing like a really big promotion at that time. Otherwise, I would probably have picked them up off of Atacanet. I have a hard time saying that website. Anyway, let me know what other kind of collection videos you want to see. I don't know what else I can really show you guys. Like, Do you want to see all my hoop earrings? Do you want to see my necklaces? Do you want to see my scarves? I think it's like... As far as accessories go, oh, maybe like a purse, purse or wallet kind of thing, something like that. I don't know. Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys really soon.